And you know when you walk past, I don't know, who, who of you are afraid of dogs? Hmm? Afraid of dogs? Have been afraid of dogs in the past? Yeah. In the past? Did you notice that when you were afraid of a dog, a dog could feel your fear? Yeah. And you always seem to get into a situation where dogs wanted to attack you? Yes. Notice that? Why is that? It's a law of attraction. Well, they could feel your fear. Does that make sense? Yes. So emotion, emotional states are transmitted to everything around you. Your soul is like this. Let's say your soul is full of unworthiness. Your soul is like a light beacon going, I'm unworthy, I'm unworthy, I'm unworthy, I'm unworthy, right? It doesn't matter what you think. You might, you might be jogging along like I did for three years saying, I'm worthy, I'm worthy, I'm worthy. And you know, after three years of doing that, I still felt unworthy. And I was still feeling this, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Right? And I had a line up of people in my life who were exposing my unworthiness. In other words, they wanted to treat me as if I was unworthy as well, right? That's the law of attraction at work. Okay? Now, all of those emotions are within your soul. Every single mother has emotions within her soul. Every single father has emotions within his soul. And the impression of both sets of emotions, as soon as a person incarnates, gets impressed upon the soul of the person incarnated. In fact, that is where the majority of where your injuries came from. Right? And you acted upon those injuries as you grew up. Does that make sense? But what about Remember when you first incarnate, you are not aware of free will. And it's only the experience that you begin to learn about free will. So free will isn't something you automatically know how to express to its greatest degree. Free will is something you learn how to express emotionally as you grow. You follow me? So while you have the potentiality of being totally free, often you're not until you learn how to be free. So how many of you feel like you worry about other people's opinion of you? Right? But if you worry about other people's opinion of you, are you free? No. No. How many of you feel like you're worried about what your parents think of you? <laughs> how many of you are angry with what your parents think of you? No. Right? Well, I'm telling you, you're controlled by that, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever emotion is within you controls you. So if you have an emotion of anger towards your parent, then that is controlling you whether you want to admit it or not, right? And this is the thing is that we are full of emotions, right? Now many times those emotions are what we classify as sad or I would classify in disharmony with divine love. Now any emotion that's in disharmony with love will cause you pain. And if you have a child, your pain will be felt by that child at the time of incarnation and onwards. And you think about it, that's how you got most of your injuries, isn't it? But just because it's felt doesn't mean they have to take it on. They have that choice of whether or not they want to take it on. Yes, but an undeveloped soul doesn't know what to choose until they start growing. So usually it's only in your teens or 20s that you start even being aware that you can choose certain emotions and, and reject others, you know, reject the transactions. But wouldn't that be what the white children are about, that they're able to be a little bit more receptive about that? Yes, all of like what are called indigo children and all those kind of terminologies, what's happening is the parents have far less emotional injuries than the average parent historically. Does that make sense? So any child born from that parent is also going to have far less emotional injuries. So they are going to be far more connected to their soul. And in fact, the last of the 14 who incarnated um, was, was this girl here, Nora. And that happened in 1985. Actually, it happened in 1984. No, 1985 is when she incarnated. Um, from that time on, you'll notice a lot of changes have been happening with regard to indigo children on Earth. And in fact, a lot of channel material has come out saying that children born after 1985 
have a far greater, far greater capacity to experience emotion and to actually grow spiritually and emotionally than children before that. And the reason why is because the earth state has changed quite markedly after that time. Right? You getting rid of your emotions, if you have a child, means that you give that child a beautiful gift of being emotionally free when it's born. Right? And that's going to give it a huge advantage. 